So whoever wants to go first. I had fairy self, a magical part, come mm. forward. And then so when you asked about what we could release, what like that would bring us more time or more nourishment for what we value, um, it was judgments, time just sort of spinning in my own head with judgments or fixation on others. And so I saw the release as like blowing away a dandelion head of seeds, You're just blowing it away, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I get in the car and I go out in the world, especially into the big city, when it just feels like cold, hard world, it's just concrete and um, people, everybody just dis distracted and detached from each other. And, and um, that's when I tend to, feel panicky almost wanting the world to be more magical around me mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's very likely or possible to do but to somehow release my judgments about it while I'm out in it that the things that make my insides clench and feel like there's a lack of safety out there because I'm not sure it's something that I could do but I've just thought could I just shift my thinking on it like just catch myself you know with knots in my stomach and all tightened and clenched and could I just remind myself that it is still magical or that I am safe I, I don't know I don't know if that's realistic yeah I'm curious if you could be the magic out in the world yeah like maybe there's a person behind you with one item and you're like can I pay for that for you and you go first Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's seeing what a difference that makes um mm -hmm. i know there's been different people street people whatever people are afraid of different people and um they're just people what makes it safe is that we're not scared of them ironically yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's kind of what I'm trying to say, like the way I could just reassure myself in some way when I'm getting caught in that clench and that separation, that feeling mm -hmm. of something. If that's where I agree with you, that I would be the magical, that I would remember my magic versus thinking somehow it's taken away from me when I'm out in that scary place. You know? Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm that you can actually make it a beautiful place by the way that you show up. I know, you know, if I have pizza and I sit next to someone on the street, they can feel if I'm judging them or not. Mm -hmm. And people respond based on how you show up. And so, it's one of the most interesting things to learn is like, okay, how am I showing up? How am I not safe? Oh. Yeah, I just, I disconnect from my magical self. I have this one self that's sort of the present normal mm -hmm. of the world. And then I've got my more magical self that I reserve for myself in my space or my mm. sacred space or with the people I feel safe to show that yeah. self with sure see if she's talked to her if she's willing to come with you into the city mm -hmm. invite her take yeah her. I'm not safe I don't have my own back when I'm yeah when I get into fear and disconnection and mm -hmm. feeling separate then it's me that's dropped the connection mm -hmm forgotten it or yeah interesting do an experiment very interested in the results <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like i i oh one i'm remembering uh when i went to um uh bonnie dune mall there was a man there in a wheelchair and he had these little rocks with stars on them and he's like here i'm gonna give this to you today you're a star gave it out at it and I'm like what a lovely gesture <laughs> like what a lovely gesture like, yeah. wow that's just you know the little uplifting things that people can do that mm -hmm. really don't take any time mm -hmm. you know 
Mm-hmm. Like what's one act of kindness that we can do while we're out? And then notice the response of the people and you'd be like, wow, there's amazing people out there. Yeah. Yeah. So I would, yeah, that magical self. That's really cool. Oh. Get to know her. Like, yeah. who is she? How far does her magic extend? Or how far does she want it to extend? Oh. How big is she when she stays home with you versus being invited into the whole world? Share the magic. Let people experience it. They're missing out. I feel like you spoke, Jill, a little bit about like you have two two selves right the two faces like i have my woo woo world that i live in that i absolutely love and all my soul family but then there's the real world that i still have to immerse myself into but i more and more i i am taking that woo woo person with me if only i I always feel like if they only knew how wonderful this woo woo stuff is to me, that is just when since I've been on this journey, it's just opened up a whole new world to me. See if I shared <laughs> some of my rules. But my kids know that I'm taking these courses, you know, my my own siblings and and then my community just completely different. Yeah. But I'm I'm starting to to let the real me shine through <laughs> more and more. Yeah. Yeah. World, thanks to thanks to this. The world needs more of it. <laughs> absolutely spread it well, spread it spread it girls <laughs> yeah exactly that's what we're doing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's how we change the world it is it is meeting that fear mm-hmm. meeting that resistance and, and really noticing the, the projections or the mirrors okay so if i'm afraid and the world's scary then how am i scared or how how am i it's always such a yeah. weird thing to think it's the exact opposite it's actually you you're creating the the movie you're watching that's so yeah. interesting you say that because i just listened to a I watched a video of, of greg braden's yesterday it was an older one and that's exactly what he was talking about some of the things that was going were going on in his life and he he knows about how that's a mirror of himself so that's another thing that i'm becoming more aware of is if I'm triggered by something, it's like, okay, that's mirroring something back to me. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> it is. It's just the self-awareness. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And that's magic in itself. 